in collaboration with some uh, people in the engineering department here at Texas A&M. I received a grant from the National Science Foundation for developing photobioreactors for microalgae. So my role in this grant is to study the algae called Botrychocus brownii. And the interesting thing about this algae is that it is a producer of high amounts of liquid hydrocarbons. And these liquid hydrocarbons can be used to power conventional combustion engines. Mm -hmm. This algae has been known for oh, well over 100 years. Um, and it's been known to produce oils for that whole time since it was first discovered. And people have known that you can convert the oils into liquid fuels for the last 40, 50 years. People have done that uh, already. The, the problem with this particular algae is that it is slow growing. That's not uh, a useful trait for you know, growing lots of algae to get lots of fuel. It's not, it doesn't make it cost effective. So what we're interested in doing is taking the genetic information out of this slow growing algae for pr the genetic information for producing these hydrocarbons and transferring that into a faster growing algae. So the idea would be if we can produce this algae that produces high amounts of oil and it grows fast that uh, some kind of industry partner would grow large amounts of this, extract the oil, convert that oil into gasoline or diesel fuel and sell it just like normally at a gas station pump.